Hi guys and welcome back to the life of Nello. Today we'll talk about five things we wish we had known before getting an Italian Greyhound. And we'll talk about our personal struggles and problems we had. So let's get started. On today's video we have a special guest. <laughs> let's get started with today's topic. Number one. And that's something we still struggle with a lot. How much you will worry about your Italian Greyhound. We're constantly worried about something. Um, first of all, of course, Inello's health. Um, when he's not acting like his normal self, I'm always concerned, even if it's just like a little bruise or if his little tummy is upset. Um, yeah, I'm always concerned there's something majorly wrong and um, that is a huge problem also playing with other dogs. I mean, I know Nello is well socialized and for me it's very important that even small dogs get the chance to play with all kinds of other dogs. But um, of course, one wrong move or an aggressive dog can really hurt Nello. And um, when we go on walks, even though I let him run off leash all the time, I'm always a little bit anxious and nervous. And if you had a bigger dog, you would not have the same amount of worry every day. And um, the third thing is every time we leave him home alone, I'm always a little bit, um, yeah, worried that he misses us too much. So it's me who doesn't want to leave him for too long. And this is also a major problem when we go on vacation where we don't bring Nello with us. I mean, there's vacations that are not very dog friendly. And the problem with this is that finding someone to take care of your Italian Greyhound is definitely not an easy task. I only trust very few people with him just because he's not a normal dog, he's quite sensitive and people who take care of him need to be aware of his specific needs and yeah, <laughs> this can be a big problem. Number two is get used to people calling your dog too skinny. And I can't even count the amount of times anymore that people have told me that Nello is too skinny. Random people on the street just passing by and um, yeah, they, I don't understand how people think they have the privilege to tell me stuff about my dog, but it's okay. I mean, Nello's perfect, he's healthy <laughs> and that's all that matters. Also, when you have Cytones, you will probably think that every other dog is just way too fat. But um, yeah, I would just keep it to myself. Number three, no more privacy. And I literally mean that Italian Greyhounds are super clingy and they wanna be as close to you as possible at all times. And while this sounds super cute, sometimes it can be very annoying and it's definitely not for everyone. For me personally, that's something I love about the breed but it can become a huge problem because many Italian Greyhounds struggle with severe separation anxiety. I made a video, I will link it. <laughs> you really need to put a lot of effort into training your Italian Greyhound to stay home alone, otherwise it will be nearly impossible. So something you should definitely know when you want to get an Italian Greyhound. Number four, you are going to spend a lot of money on your Italian Greyhound. And um, at first I thought, yeah, well, of course, one color is more than enough. But um, I ended up buying six or seven colors and our collection is still growing <laughs> because it's just so addicting to buy stuff for your Italian Greyhounds because it makes them look so cute. And also, of course, some of the things you buy are definitely necessary. For example, clothes in winter time when it's cold, Italian Greyhounds just need clothes and there are so many options and they look so super cute that you wanna have all of it. And it's not just clothes, it's also vet bills, for example. In our first year, when Nello was feeling just a little bit sick, we were super worried about him that we would rush to the vet many times <laughs> and we ended up paying a lot of money for him, but it really didn't matter as long as he was healthy. And number five is there will be no more you without your Italian Greyhound. And I've kind of talked about this before already, but it's really true. Like you and your Italian Greyhound become like <laughs> inseparable kind of. 
and um, yeah, it's, it can get hard on some of friendships, for example, especially when people don't have dogs. It's kind of like having a baby or something, but it's not a problem really because you will meet like-minded people and it's gonna be fun and also just a new experience. So just something you should know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely recommend to take your time and do your research before you decide to get an Italian Greyhound because this breed is just special and it's not for everyone and um, they're animals after all and every Italian Greyhound deserves to have the best life ever. So you wanna make sure that you can provide the perfect home. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. Bye.